Hey, Level 5 and 6 dancers. It's Mr. Casey. I'm at the studio today alone, and it's like 70 degrees out. Anyways, this is my home, so this is where I would rather be. But it's nice to see uh, the sun shining outside, and it gives me a sense of warmth and positivity and strength to continue on every day, even though I have really bad allergies. So um, I am here to give you guys class. The way this is going to work is I'm going to demonstrate the material I'm going to do it on one side, and I'm leaving it up to you to make sure you do the second side. So I have chosen um, uh, our music is the stuff we use in class. It's Music for Ballet Class Volume 2 if you want to download it by Rob Thaller. Um, although I do recommend that you consider creating your own playlist for your bar work as well as your center. Um, sometimes we connect a little differently to music, and if you're doing it to the music you prefer, you'll be a little more invested than in the classical music. However, the classical piano does kind of calm the nerves to a point and gets you back to routine, and, and that's very important during times like this, is where you remember where home is. And for me, it, since I was 15, it's been the studio. Um, I've been in a studio pretty much every day since I was 15 years old. So this has been really hard for me not to be at my home and with my students and the kids. That's, I mean, that's why I do what I do is to pass on what I love about dance to, to others. So uh, I will be demonstrating and teaching the lesson. I recommend you following along as much as possible. Uh, please modify exercises as need be physically. If it's too much, it's too easy, it's too hard. Um, you should know at level five and six how to modify to get the best out of it for yourself. I do not recommend point shoes with any of the work. It needs to be flat, socks, or ballet shoes. Um, I do look forward to seeing it, so hopefully you will videotape some of these sequences. You can tag me on our social media. You can comment on YouTube. You can email it directly to me um, and ask for personal critical criticisms, and I would be happy to guide you in your pathway with this class. Being that you're level five or six, I also recommend that you take any of the classes below this level um, if you need to change it up, which I think you should. Um, for instance, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe do the five, six class. Tuesday, Thursday, do the three, the three, four class and then add the point or excuse me, the pre point class as a supplemental. Um, that'll keep you moving for a good two hours. Um, I know with everybody else's content, you could have a full eight hour professional day of dance if you really wanted to. So modifications, if you need to do happy face arms because you don't have a bar, any of that work is fine or arms on the waist, totally fine. I do recommend either a bunk bed. If you have a portable bar, that's the best or can make one. Uh, that's a great project for dad if he's bored. Um, inexpensive if you do your own um, from Home Depot or what have you, um, or if you already have. Uh, hand railing of some sort you can use, Lysol it, and then get to work. Um, again, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I do want to be in contact with you guys. I don't like this quiet alone thing as much. <laughs> so um, if you, even though I'm in, actually an introvert, um, but if you need to reach out, please do. You have my, my contact information or hashtag me or um, link me, Mr. Casey. That's totally fine. So I will be demonstrating one side of this lesson. You will then stop and rewind it, and you can reverse it to the left yourself with the music, or you can continue it on the left. That is up to you how you want to modify that. But to save time in the video, etc., we're just going to do one side. Okay. Let's make our way to wherever we are going to dance. Make sure you stay hydrated. You should have already been eating your fruits and vegetables as much as possible. We will be facing the bar or your countertop, table, back of the chair, back of the couch, if you're presenting this with, to your families. Um, you can use a bunk bed, railing on a patio. Don't bonk your head. Be very aware of what you're doing and where you are, your surroundings. Uh, if you are um, wanting a modification or a progression to the work, I will be saying a few things as I go. Like you could add this or delete this um, to make it easier or to make it more um, able to be actually be able to do at home as opposed to a dance class uh, to keep your technique uh, oiled and your, your training firm. So we start facing. Yeah, we have push points. 
demi point, push point two with the demi plie, rolling through three, flat four, plie five, straighten six, rise seven, down eight. Repeat on the left, demi point, push point with fondu, three, articulating through the foot, four, plie five, straighten six, up seven, descend eight. On do flex plie, no touch in the heels, just long gaining and lengthening. Three, close four, plie five, straight six, up seven, down eight. Palm do parallel again, watching that the muscles, ligaments, and bones are all in alignment. Three, flat four, plie five, straight six, up seven, down eight. That pattern repeats in first. I really hesitate to push your turnout at home without people watching you since you are students and not professionals. You need to be aware of your turnout. However, don't necessarily go for that deeper turnout position. You're going to get the same amount of work in the legs that you need from this. We repeat demi point, push point, fondue, petit attitude all second, three flat, four, plie, five straight, six up, seven and eight. When you're doing that, just be aware of the shape of that leg, demi point, plie, two, so that you're holding that rotation, which will eventually be in a more complicated pattern of a retire or a hero position. Three flat, four, plie five, straight six up, seven and eight. The tendu flex plie is to the second position. Again, go easy on your turnout here. You possibly will get a little bit more of a workout if you articulate that a little bit more straight out, ten and two, as opposed to pushing for deeper rotation. From there, demi point, horse arching two and two and up and three. And two, we'll hold the four, two, three, four. Plie, engage the back. We'll roll through the back softly and back to center. Plie, going side, through the back and center. Plie, rotate into fourth tendu and first, and you'll be ready for your plies. So, as the experimental warm up combination progresses, we'll do it with music. Both sides, and then we'll go to please. This is trap one on that seat. in your finish. If you're want, wanting more of a cardio bar, then I would take that lesson directly again without a break. Just hit repeat on your music or rewind the video really quick and then do it again. Plies. We're going to start in a second for our plies. We're going to do two bras and plies. Two, three, four. Reverse quarter bra. A releve and two counts, finding your balance. Plie, side stretch. Going to add a little hip rotation there to kind of open the hip up. Mm -hmm. Through. 
through the first. Those of you that are more technical, let's really articulate through the first position there. If we're not, let's just reverse it into a tondu and then push it down. Totally fine. Two demis, three, four. Grand plie with full port de bras, especially working with without a studio setting. You want to remind yourself about the shoulders and backs and bottoms. Here, we'll go parallel and forward. Option there will be either two plies, uh, walk throughs, whatever you want there, downward dog if you want to take it simple and stretch. It depends on what you need out of your dancing right now. So we'll leave that back. From first, you roll back up and stretch. Fourth position is just two demis, and then a rond de jambe, two demis, reverse port de bras, close through, flex it, and we'll just take a nice calm right front, possibly two arms, and stretch. On new close fifth, two demis, four counts, draw in eight, full port de bras, circular port de bras here, getting the torso involved. We'll go ahead and reverse the circular port de bras. Balance, we'll go ahead and ride, legs just gonna swipe over the susu and find the balance. Head up. Mm -hmm. We'll do this in a waltz. Uh, modify again as need be. It's a more complicated plie, but it's supposed to be ergonomic and make you feel the stretch and wake your body up after time off as opposed to being a real technical stiff plie. It goes right onto the other side. Again, we will stop and I will demonstrate the next combo. So if you want, again, you should be doing both sides. Either rewind the music or be writing this down so you can go back and give yourself class. Second position. we will be facing the bar. Yes. This is a flexibility just to open and lubricate the joints as opposed to, again, classical technique type thing. So, facing the bar, we'll do our second yet again. Full grand plie, full grand plie. We're gonna push off into the left calf or right. Just a little swirly cue up and over. A little bit of an arch, you can go as deep as you want there. On you. Close. Over the second. Again, two bronze, releve, 
side in the cap. If I didn't say relevant on the first side, I apologize. Swivel back and arching through and Tanyu and Demi and hold and Demi. The Demi is just at the end to hold and articulate the hips and make sure the knees are over the big toes. So we have. to go through full point, but I would definitely do demi point, those two demis. Um, if you want progression, you could also take that entire combination on four starch, going into the grand plie, pressing up at the very base of it so you have your spider stretch. That builds into the releve, really going distance here if you have something strong to hold on to. If you don't have anything to hold on to and you're still doing happy face arms or arms on the waist, <clears throat> You're not going to be able to push over very far. I would just probably add a plie there. Uh, just to reground yourself, kind of centered, as opposed to really trying to get off that leg and stretch and then back through it. Mm -hmm. Tondus. Clean and classic to be. So we have five, six, seven. A tendu, just the toe, tendu and close, plie, reach out, close and close. Tendu, just the toe, tendu, close, reach out, supporting side is important here, close. Tendu, demi point, tendu, close, plie, reach up, close and close. This should feel fluid, tendu, fifth, tendu, fifth, tendu, demi jambe, and first, all in reverse. I'll demonstrate both with the reversal and then the second side is up to you to remember to do. Please do it. In fact, make a game out of it. Maybe try the left side first as opposed to doing the right and flip your brain pattern a little bit since we always focus on the right side anyways. So here we are, on these. Thank you. 
hearts. And always finish. Always finish. Always take the moment there at the end to find your placement, find where you are, and articulate your dancing. A, it's professionalism, and B, it looks better. C, ultimately, and the only reason it really matters is you'll work harder. You'll find that sense of self in the work you're doing. Okay. Fifth, we always do two tendus. So we have fifth position, five, six, seven, arm will stay in second here. Again, if you're using happy face arms, simple combination, but you need to be aware of that supporting side. If that supporting side is not working for you, none of the work will really matter because you'll be pulling off and trying to find your balance as opposed to working the material. So again, if you have a bar or have an ability to make one, do, because it's a lot uh, more functional with the bar. Um, although, as a ex-professional dancer, being able to be on your leg without a bar is way more valuable than being able to do the most perfect tendu ever made while holding a bar. Generally, there's not very many bars out there that are gonna be in the middle of a dance. So, fifth position. Five, six, seven, eight. We'll do tendu, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie, four on quad, three, and four. We'll take the arabesque arm, two, here, watching the hip and the shoulder, and four times it goes, no change, change rule from the back, four times it goes, four, and then we have it with the straight leg, with the full port de bras, four to the side, two, three, four, no change, change rule, four to the back, four to the side, and then we have it with the roll away, tendu, push up, tendu, push up, tendu, push up, tendu, push up, really tightening those thighs, on claw as well with the full port de bras. Mm -hmm. The last measure is just forward stretching, breathing through the back, stretching up and releasing. No balance to speak of, just working on the tendu plie and the posture and placement and getting deeper into the demis each time. directly to the other side with your music or rewinding the video yet again and taking the other side immediately. Degages, we will start with that combination again with the degage or the glisse or jeté, whatever you want to call it.
the other side. If your releve gets lower like mine did, <laughs> that is a key uh, specific um, to your calf strength. It may be strong to be able to get your calf back up and lever, so it pulls that heel bone, the talus under, but uh, it may be strong and the problem is endurance. That's kind of what mine are. I have strong calves, but the endurance isn't there like it used to be. So, water, sweat. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and face the bar. We're gonna do a jeté just to relax the body a little bit. I'm gonna move the bar for you guys to get our rhythm and our flow going. It's just what we call penguin. You guys have done this before. It's eight on the right, except I'm gonna start on the left. Eight, four, four, two, two, one, one, and then a nice releve at the end. Generally, you would repeat it, probably will. So let's do that. First position. stretches almost out for every battery type lesson at the bar Tom used the AJs for all my home. Just to release release any inhibitions that are already there and they're not letting go. Okay? Ronde de jambes. Ronde de jambes. We are going to face the bar for Ronde de jambes. Um, yeah, so we'll just leave the bar where it is. It'll be in a waltz. Um, if you're using my class CD that maybe you got off iTunes or what have you, the um, the lessons, quite, I mean, it's built for ballet class, so it'll say frappe and rond de jambe and stuff like that. So you can play around with that. If you're using your own music waltz tempo, so slow, controlled, this is a quicker rond de jambe. It's meant to get you moving a little bit as opposed to studying rond de jambe and tendu and, and the various aspects of it. It should be a movement-based rond de jambe. It should not be a stiff rond de jambe. So we'll begin in fifth. We have plié, carry side, first and fifth. Plié, carry side, first and fifth. Plié, and back, and two, and back three times. It goes, rush through, and here. Progression, you could add a plié in the passé développé that little enveloppe lesson. Um, you could also add a releve, plié releve, plié releve, susu, or releve in first. That's totally fine. Progressions. It's one of the fun things about being an advanced dancer is you should, you should know your body and your instrument inside and out and what you need and what you want. Really, a teacher is there for guidance, critical feedback. Uh, oh, by the way, on your bad days where you're not pushing a little hard, maybe having a mental health day and stress, and you're not allowing the art form to come out. Ultimately, that's what I think advanced teachers are about. Um, depending on the, the, the school they're in, obviously there's still steps and technique that need to be accomplished. But at that higher level, you should really be self-sufficient and taking class for yourself and getting what you need to out of the lesson presented. It's the same way if you go out for a meal if you're given the fruit, are you eating it or not? And if not, you're not getting the full balance of the meal being 
present it. Uh, if you don't like it, well, that's, in my day, they would have said, that's tough. <laughs> you have to deal with it anyways. Ballet class, you do. You have to swallow it anyways if you don't like the lesson. Um, or if it doesn't do anything for you, if you f really feel, frankly, like, I'm not getting anything out of this lesson. That's why you hear uh, dancers that say, I love so-and-so's class. I, it feeds me. Because those classes really do actually affect the dancer's quality of training. And, or just view of spirituality and artistry in their class. They, they approach their class and they are nourished from their class. And it's not all physical. It's not all, in fact, how you look and how much you have and what you can and can't do. It really is about what feeds you. And when you go in, do you feel productive after class or do you not? And that's, for me, has always been my judgment of teachers when I take class. Do I feel nourished and put in a place where I need it to be? Or do I feel like I was missing something? Pre-professional advanced dancers to professional dancers have those exact feelings, but they go back and they work by themselves. They know that that's the time to go to the Pilates studio, the yoga studio, get on a treadmill, take another class directly after to finish sewing up the seams that did not get completed by said teacher. Company class is even worse sometimes, although usually company class dancers are allowed to modify as need be based on their rep and the work they're doing, but in general, students are never allowed to do that. So sometimes you don't feel nourished by your instructor, sometimes overly nourished and stressed out and anxious because there's so much there to, to figure out. Anyhow, Ron Dijon's from the fifth position, hopefully you remember it, and if not, it's on video and you can go back. One side and then the other, I'll demonstrate both on this one, in a waltz. I'd recommend that one twice in a row, doing it again immediately, right and left. Little bit of a stretch on the bar. If your parents don't like the feet on the counter,
today, but I would encourage you guys to do it if you've done the full bar and warmed up and you're sweating by now, which you should be. Let's go back to one hand on the bar. And we'll take our foam news. So look what we have. From fifth to melt, seven and eight. Fondue to the front point, fondue to the front 45, fondue to the front 90, bring it back to passe, close front. Fondue to the tondu. Nice, clean, acute triangle. Lift to go down, to go out, and then in, down, to go up, in, and replace. Fondue to the point, up to go down, 45, up to go down, 90, yes, I know that wasn't 90, passe, close fit, and then repeat to the side. I would also, for level six, maybe not level five, add the progression of releve with these as a second set. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the first side, but I'll let the music play so you can add that releve progression. side with that music, you can always rewind it and go back and add the releve, or add the releve later as your Wednesday progression. So do it flat Monday, releve on Wednesday, and then maybe flat on Friday as well with a deeper plie, or with a more fluid port de bras, especially level six, where you can move a little bit with the lesson. It should be enough to work at home with the combos that I've given um, to add, if you want to add the arms, if you want to do it without the bar. If you do have a structure, keep in mind that it would actually behoove you to let go of the structure as a progression as well. So if you're using a countertop or a bunk bed or a railing or even a full-on bar at your house, um, do it, do it on the other side and then as your progression, let go of it and do it with happy face arms. That, I would only encourage level six to be playing and experimenting with that type of work. Level five, I think there's more that you can get out of the flat, the deeper plies, the higher releves, um, the higher the extensions. If you want to go 45, 90, 120 instead of parterre, I think there's benefit in parterre and really articulating the foot through the ground, but going higher is absolutely fine. That mon frappe, Frank the Frappe. 
Haven't seen them in a while. Should have been in the house so long. Okay, so we have it. Andre prep, seven, left strike, eight, one, two, three, and one, stay, stay, and one, stay, stay, double front, double side. Strike from the back, stay, stay, strike from the side, straight, stay, stay, strike from the front, stay, stay, double to the back, double to the side. There's a tom lien, so you can get right in there. Now, if you have a structure, go for a tom lien, go big, or go home, assuming your technique's workable together. Nice way of saying put together. <laughs> um, if it's not, go small, be articulate, you'll get the same amount of work. Uh, just in a different way. So we have frappe front, side, back with two stay, and then we have the double, double, tom lié. Okay. We'll do both sides together. All right, let's take it out. We think of bigger as just more, and it is, it's quite frankly more, but it's more, more. It's not just doing a bigger plie, athletically speaking, it's still push point, flex, retraction. There's still all of those things that you would have on a little one point push. You just have to do it at a way bigger level, which makes it harder. A lot of our sixes, you skip stuff like that sometimes. You do it big, you actually do it well, big, but the details are missing. The little push point, the little enveloppe or retraction of the thigh in the flex coupe position, etc. You really have to watch that. Easy to get lazy with it. Rond de jambes on land. So we're going to tendu, circle on the ground three times, stay, stay. Circle in the air from there three times, stay, stay. Circle in the air growing bigger by three. Close, other side down. On the ground, scooping around a water bottle. Then up to the 45, 75, 90 if you have it. If you don't, that's fine. Air on the side of caution, go low, go small. Especially with these because they're about your rotation and endurance. Frappe, as a side note, you could also add a progression of releve to those ones if you wanted. These you could also add a releve if you really wanted to. Um, again, advanced answers only, level six and above, probably after you've accomplished the first version, add the progression the second day, the second class that you take of this class, maybe even the third class, just really balance it. If this was a full class, like let's say my April class, then Monday, excuse me, week one, week two, would probably be the flat versions. Week three, week four would be the relevant versions. So you're getting all of it. You're just doing it faster, more like a professional. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or even Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday you take off or what have you. So let's take our roll de jambes. Thank you. 
lock into place, you kind of do. You push yourself into a place where you don't have to move, and then you're able to work with the leg that's working. It may be inarticulate of me to say it that way, but um, ultimately that's that's what works for most dancers. So, kind of like in a rond de jambe, a lot of people can do the leg really well, or they can do the arm really well, but they can't tend to get the fluidity and the lyricism together. So they tend to put one lock down on autopilot, the better of the two, and then they focus on the thing that's not doing as well. Let's do a releve combo, and then we'll be on the bottom one. You know your releve combo by heart. Plie up, plie down, plie up, plie down, plie jump and jump and jump, sustain the plie stretch and flows. Same in second, fourth, and fifth. Progression, level two of this, would be Shanjamans instead of the Sotes or Super So. You could also do Royale. You could do Entrechicot. Mm. So you could do the version of Super So, which we'll do today. You could do Shanjamans, you could do Royale, or you could do Chicot. Um, I would probably say skip right to Entrechicot in this combo after Shanjama, but I'll leave that up to you, the sixes. Level fives, I would stay with super sews until you really know you're scooping those feet underneath you and you can. to the second side as well, please. Adagio, I'm going to leave optional, but I'll uh, give the combo, but I won't be demonstrating it. So. You'd have fifth, and you would start with the grand plié, Two, three, four, and reverse the plie with a releve. One, two, three, four. Devoque front, two, three, plie on the four. Carry side, passe, two, three, four. So to go for those counts, grand, two, three, four. Releve, two, three, four. So the coup de plie really connecting the dots here. Devoque front. Two, three, plie the four, carry out five, I'll say six, there we go, seven, and eight. From there, added to plie two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, unfold, tombe back, releve, kick, pop off front, susu, passe, prepare, and just a nice big circular quarter bra around. The arabesque, down the planche, up the arabesque, releve that attitude, releve turn, passe, susu, plie, and then you repeat it on the left. Okay. Adagio is your choice. It's a challenging one. If you do it full out, if you want to make it a challenge, I would recommend videoing it and sending it to me. Do hashtag Mr. Casey Ballet. Send it personally to my Instagram, the studio, my email, and then I'll give you some critical feedback on it, um, or post it on your own social media, and then I'm tag me in it, or Innovative Dance. Wrong that home. 
we'll do a uh, very simple forward front plie, forward side plie, forward back plie, forward side plie, four straight, four straight, four straight, four straight, and then four with releve, progression, four with saute. So jump, land, jump, land, jump. Pushing off of two, landing on one, delay the second leg, brush off on one, two, such as plie jump, plie close. Trying to hold the technique together. That is an advanced progression. I wouldn't necessarily hit that for two or three weeks. If you're really doing the regular bomb, all right, it's, it's hard. Again, demonstrate it only on the right, stop, rewind, do it on the left. Or have your own music, you can follow along too. straight legs, front side, back side. Again, adding the releve or the saute as a progression. Um, what I mentioned about the supporting arm, let that go and see if it helps you support the work your outside working leg is doing. If it doesn't, take the bar. Get what you can out of it. But in general, again, it's forcing you to become more of a dancer to get off the bar. Get some water, have an apple, and we'll come back for center.